good with y'all. What's good? What's good? We tuned in for another video. See, we got meat out today for a reason. <laughs> but anyway, this is Budget Bill episode. Uh, Dolo, the plan is to get this thing off of jack stands today, right now, today. Get it off the jack stand, see, see if we can move it and all of that. That's the plan for today. So, y'all know the last episode had a fuel line pop off, so I'm gonna slide on there, see if I can slip it over. Uh, slipping over that uh, that f that stock fuel filter, it really could come off. It really could come off. They put the stock fuel filter. It's running two fuel filters. I don't need two. I got one. It's just back when GM they used to put it way back there instead of up here. So I really could take it off and uh just run a straight line. So if all this fails, that's what I do. I just run a straight line and just do it like that. Or I got a coupler. I got a I got a barbed coupler three eight three eight. I can just put in between it and put clamps on it and problem solved. So that that's a that, that ain't a big problem. So I'm gonna get up on there and do that car. I don't need no no more of the expensive gas getting wasted. Now, reason meets out because this thing keep costing me money. Wife walked by yesterday and said, you know your tie flat. So y'all know I had bought three new tires. This was the only one I didn't buy. And it would it would end up being dry riding and all that, so it, it was flat. So I had to get that changed. And I probably do an episode where my lights came in, but I, I gotta do another video for that separate. I can show y'all the LED install and all that. I gotta change the oil and stuff. Another thing I noticed, keep y'all in the loop with everything. I grabbed the rim. I grabbed the rim or uh, well I pressed it right and it was flat. And it got a mean leak around here. Let me show y'all. Yeah. I get white. Come pour the water on this. Come pour the water right here so they can see it. I'm gonna show y'all. Cause I can't, I can't film, man. Hold this thing, so I'm gonna get her to pour the water. Y'all gonna see, boy, it's it leaking. It's leaking around here. You see where it say the tire size over here? Mm -hmm. There where the area at. I think it right well. The tire size, where it say 275, it pour it right there. Right here. Yeah. Where's it? Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to make sure it's in the right spot. I done moved the tire. I gotta find the spot again, y'all. Rolled it around, but car. I got y'all gotta see this. That thing was leaking. You don't see it. Where's it? Let me see the tire side. I'm trying to hold the camera. Mm -hmm. Cause I don't know. Right here. Yeah, I had rolled it down, y'all. All right, you pull it right here. Now check this out. You pull it some of the soap, some of the soap get on. Well, y'all can see it right there. Pull it all of it so the soap get on. Where the soap don't want to come on. All right. Look at it. The air coming, the air coming out of there good, right there around the rim. So I don't know if it can be fixed or what. I'm gonna see if it can be fixed. Cause if I can avoid buying the tire, man, this tire got all this good tread on it. So if I can avoid it, then I'm gonna avoid it. But if I live for it, I just get a tire. It ain't no big deal. But I had to show y'all that. Cause hey, that video was gonna be coming out. They were gonna be on Dolo. I'm telling y'all, they still going on there soon, so I'm going to take it to the tire shop tomorrow and see if I can get a tire, but I'll catch y'all in a minute. Stay tuned. All right, so I just got back from Lowe's. I put the fitting on there, got the fans on. I'm going to see if we're going to start up. I turned the fuel pump on, I already checked. So we good right there. That ain't leaking.
got a gas. Ran five gallons out, man. Yeah, that's how So we out of gas, as y'all can see. So we just, it was just uh, pretty much running out the gas that was in the bowl. So guess I'm pull, uh, I'm pull five more gallons in there. Pull them other five gallons in there since I know it's straight now. And then I go get some more later. Look like I'm, I'm about to throw the hood on here, car. Look like it's in the rain again, man. Always killing, killing the uh, the day and the plan. So. Y'all just stay tuned. I'm going to get with y'all in a minute. All right, so we're checking back in. Had to cover the car back up. Um, this is the next day, of course. But I had to cover the car back up. But I got everything. I've been putting some work in. I just ain't put, uh, turned the camera on because I've been trying to beat the rain. But uh, I got everything under the car officially done. So got the shifter hooked up. It's just sitting in the floor right now. The carpet peeled back and all that. Because I got to see where it's going to be mounted. You know, the interior got to be situated and all of that. And then I got the accelerator hooked up, man, but the cable stick a little too long, the new cable even longer. So I ain't even bother putting it on. I put the old cable back on. And what I'm finna do now is pour some more racing gas in it, pour them other five gallons. Cause y'all know we ran out of gas the other day. So I'm about to pour them gallons in. And the goal, like I said today, is to get it where you can set it on. Get out these jack stands, which I'm about to do. I'm about to take it out these jack stands, sit it back on the ground. Put some transmission fluid in. Well, I'm going to put the transmission fluid in first before I get out the jack stand so I can make sure we ain't got no leaks. And then we're going to set it down and see if it moves. So, y'all just stay tuned. About to try to get some transmission fluid in here right quick. And I'm wasting it already. Alright, so I got some fluid in it. Uh, I put I put six quarts in it because I remember back when it was in the truck, it was uh, leaking bad. And it probably leaked all of it out. Got the accelerator hooked up. So, gotta let the gag get up there. I put the racing gag back in it. There you go, we picked it up. That gas again. I ain't gonna take it out the jack stand just yet. I'ma uh, I'm gonna take it out the jack stands after I make sure no transmission fluid leaking. Carpet all in the way now. So hard to crank right now. Oh, it's cold. Alright, hold on, y'all. Need to let it run a little bit. If ain't no transmission fluid leaking. We're gonna set it down and see if it'll move.
Alright, so I just let it run a little bit. It seemed to be. I hope there ain't no rain. I have to hurry up and grab the hood. It seemed to be straight though, so I'm gonna let it down. I'm gonna take it out of the jack stand. We don't have no leaks. I'm gonna take it out the jack stands and uh see if we can move it. So let me do that. Then I'm gonna check back in with y'all. I'm gonna set this go not go pro. I'm gonna set this uh, camera up on the stand. We're gonna see if we can move it, pull it forward. So stay tuned. Checking in. Ain't got no leaks, but it definitely needs some more fluid in it. That thing there was completely empty. Y'all know I had to take the rein. Had to take the rein. We good right there. But it needs some fluid in it. That dry. That dry real weak. Real, real weak. So we got to put some fluid in it see what that do so I want to run it long cause like I said I ain't got the fan hooked up I ordered the relay kit this uh, the Raleigh the rail whatever I ordered basically the same brand relay relay kit so went on that so the relay kit will be here tomorrow so I had that hooked up that's the last that's the last real piece to making it you know where you can just crank it up running driving all that that's the last real piece then you know still like AC and power steering guy get put on here but I want to get it running and driving so I can get it up to Jesse and get the exhaust on it then you know all this stuff right here get tidied up get some loom put all this in some loom that wire right there gonna get shortened up because you know this a, this can be a three wire or a one wire alternator so I got to finish putting that wire over there in the loom too for the fuel pump so just a little tidy work so I'm gonna check this transmission fluid see how much I need to add yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all in a minute. Checking in. Just moved it back. I'm parking right there for now. But Dolo is officially off the jack stands. So it's on. Now my rim, I'm gonna have to check some now. Or maybe it probably was in the dirt. I think it's in the dirt a little bit. Well, see a little bit. It's just light right there. But I'm gonna change the fluid out. Again, add some additive and stuff in it. Cause I gotta put that cover. Remember, I gotta put that Moser cover on there. But that right there, that right there is strong. It lay a little more. I, I had punched it. I just straight punched it. I ain't think it's fun. It feel good though. Especially with them 430s. You see the fluid. Fluid full or whatever. Had to let it pump all through the system. And all that good stuff. Crank up on the dime though. And bang. The cam, the cam shell starting to sound better and better. Y'all know when you first, first crank it up. It don't sound like it really going to sound. But man the more you crank it up. Get better and better. Let me see. Especially when you put the bad boy in gear, boy. Get the talking. Let me see. 
ain't got them fan hooked up, so you know, I ain't trying to let it run long. And I gotta adjust that cable because I'm not getting full pedal. But it's alright for the muffler, so I just didn't want just to be pushing. We're cranking up on that. Y'all ain't got to shift the boat down. Come on, I'll take it out. I'll put that pole. It's a wrap for the day, man. I tidy up. I tidy up everything. The girls in there trying to sleep too. They try to take their nap. They probably ain't sleep now. Yeah, it's another car. Them fans ain't on. Thing. Try to get a little warm. So yeah, that's it. Oh man, I gotta wait on the relay kit. And when I get the relay kit, it's already wired up. It just plug and play pretty much. Wire to the battery. Uh, wire over here, hook up to this wire, which is 12 volt ignition, uh, grounds and power right there, and that's it. And then you got you're gonna have an extra wire for a thermostat control if I want to use that, but I ain't gonna use that. I want both mine run all the time because I got an overkill alternator. These fans, too, I forgot to tell you, these fans, the alternator they, they really want you to have is at least a 120 amp alternator, at least a 120. But I got a 150, cause I, I mean, I got, you know, LEDs. I be thinking about other stuff, so I got a 150. Um, so, you know, they want you, they want you to be good, you know, cause them, them things put a lot of power, but they the truth. So I'm running both of mine at all times. It ain't gonna hurt nothing, cause I got a, my alternator will run it with no problem, and I want my engine to run cool. Cause the engine temp, like I said, these fans, they high, but they worth every, every penny, man. I'm gonna use them on every bill from here on out. These uh, these fans drop the temperature 30 degrees at idle. So you think about when you're going down the road, this car probably gonna run about 160 going down the road. Cause it run 180 cents still. So you talking about 180 degrees in that traffic, I figure when I cut the AC on, it might run 190, which is cool with me. Uh, 190 regular, good operating temperature. But going down the road, even with the AC on, it probably ain't gonna run but 180, 175. Cost the, the uh, water pump gonna be turning faster that's a high flow water pump real high flow water pump so you know you're gonna have more water circulating it gonna drop the engine temperature but the fans alone man they do the job so they $300 the fans $300 they got the fan shroud built in them so you good right there and uh what else the relay the relay kit the w relay wiring harness the same brand it's like $45 ship so you get all that, you, you're looking at about $350 for the re harness and everything, unless you want to get they souped up harness with the thermostat control and all that, then you're probably talking about, about four, 440 or somewhere up in there. But worth every penny, man. It's worth every penny. So this bad boy hill straight. We got it off the jack stand. That's what I want to do today. That's all I wanted to do. Took two days because of rain, but we got off the jack stand. So now I'm literally about to call Jesse and hopefully see if Jesse can take it in tomorrow man if he can take the car in tomorrow i go get the mufflers put on it and then you know just don't take long he get the pipe put on we can really see and hear what's going on and then uh you know it just be tightening everything up wire this up definitely got to tighten up in there said the shift did not bolt it down the seats not bolted down but i gotta go i gotta go to my hometown for that but uh yeah that's it like i said it's just tidy work man we got to put the wire the spark plug wire holders 
so the wires will be all neat and not touching the headers and stuff we gotta do that i got all that in there i got to get this situated because like i said i just got it zip tied but i ain't getting no full pedal i'm not getting nowhere near full pedal and we need all of that so spark plug wire holders that's just a matter of me sticking that in that loom right there i'll probably come out and do that off camera I gotta get an air cleaner. Definitely air cleaner. They ain't just for decoration. They protect stuff from going in your carburetor. Matter of fact, while I'm talking to y'all, let me walk over here. Cause I be paranoid. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Go over here and put this. I need to buy one, a, a real one, like a hard one, a carb hat, just to keep over it. So, cover that up. So, uh, yeah. What I was saying, spark plug wire holders, put that in the loom, hook up the relay kit, then I'm going to go to AutoZone today and get 10 foot of this, about $7, I'm going to get 10 foot of this so I can uh, hide this wire and all that, the wires that's going to come from the relay, we're going to hide that, uh, shorten this up, we're going to shorten this wire up, and then loom, I mean, well that was already loom, but just tidy work, man. Just tidy work. Then, I, you know, AC brackets and stuff, they're just um, bolting it up. They plug and play pretty much. Bolt the AC brackets up. Tra run the wires from over there, over here. Because I'm doing everything I say. I'm having AC on this thing. Power stern pump. So, we good, man. We got oil pressure. We moving. It's running and driving. It ain't leaking no transmission fluid. It ain't leaking nothing. It's leaking some oil from the front right here i'm gonna take it to unk so y'all see that it's leaking oil from the front so i'm taking it on and let him straighten it out or whatever put on the lift and get that straight well other than that we good man so dolo dolo ready after we do all that tighter work we throwing the hood back on there but i'm finna call jesse so next time y'all see it hopefully we at the muscle shop man so hope y'all been enjoying the daily content i appreciate everybody that been showing love so now we officially all the cars got oil pressure. Dolo, Big Meats, and John John. John John got oil pressure. I just got it. I gotta get it back. I gotta get it back. So I'm gonna talk to Unk man. See how far he done made it, man. Hopefully I can get this one back at the house. Then we had a whole fleet here. Everything be good. Wife car got oil pressure. All the old schools have oil pressure. So yeah, that's it. That's it, man. So we down here now. Y'all probably gonna see a mount up video too. I'm probably gonna go ahead and mount this thing up. Cause uh I don't want to drive with 430 gears on them tires. I just don't. So, yeah, that's it. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. I appreciate everybody watching, man. I catch y'all.